What's going on, Pokemon trainers? Trainer Connor here, and it's time for an Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle video. Thank you guys for coming to this awesome match. Now, this is a miniature gauntlet of battles that I had with Necrosiva, one of my greatest rivals out there. Originally, this was going to be part of my four-year anniversary uh, special video type thing going on there. But, you know, you look at the date there, registered 8 27 2016 I was a day late. But the fact is, I actually got to battle Necrosivo by request. And so we did two battles, and this is the first one. This first battle is a little bit weird. The format is you bring one OU, one UU, one NU, one RU, and then the rest in the lower, lower class tier. So it's like PU, I think that's what it's called. It's the NU tier, but lower. So on my end, we have a, um, a Lumberry Dawn fan, a uh, defensive Quillfish Spiky. Then we have our Mega, which is Mega, Mega Grass. That's my OU pick. And then we have Joe Pawelski, the Lipard. Never used that Pokemon before. And then we have Defensive Furfro, which has a weird set on it, but that's fine. We're going to hopefully use it right, because I didn't do it the last time I used Furfro, which was a little while ago. Then we have a Nasty Plot Raichu to back it up. The main threats on Necrosivo's side, I'm not seeing too much threats. Um... I just have to be wary of Gramble because Gramble, being a fairy type in this generation, it has a lot of attack, has access to play rough. It can hit Lipard, it can hit Furfo some, but you know Furfo is physically bulky there. I'm making that Earthquake. I have a heavy, heavy Earthquake weakness on this team. Uh, Zoroark can be an issue if I don't pay attention to his ability in the form of Illusion. He can disguise as Wartortle or Cradley or Crustle or something like that. And we see Crustle leading out for Necrosivo when we start this up here. So that's my quick analysis. I am going to start out with Dawnfang if you look at the... Uh, screen there for a brief moment there, and then we're going to get started. So, yes, Gonfan versus Crustle. I'm going to make Necrosivo think that I'm going to set up Stealthos, like Crustle is going to do uh, mittens, which I fought against Necrosivo's uh, mittens before, and I know what it's going to do. So I go straight for Earthquake because I know mittens has... The ability sturdy. I get a critical hit, which is awesome, but it just doesn't matter at this point in time. He gets to lay down his stealth ox. Now, I think he expected another earthquake, which means we're going to go with a knockoff instead of earthquake because I know Gengar's ability in the form of levitate will dodge the earthquake. So that's awesome. We got to get rid of Necrosivo's OU Pokemon. That's Gengar. I have a choice right here against Wartortle. I need to either get rid of the Stealth Ox, or I can just knock off his EV Light and make it a lot more pliable against it. Unfortunately, he gets to go with a Scald and gets to burn, gets rid of my Lumberry quite early, actually, but that's fine. I get to, um, in exchange for losing Dawn Fan, we get rid of the Stealth Ox, Got rid of his Eevee light, so he's a lot less bulky, I should say. And now we can go into Raichu. So, in the end, Gonfan did a great job. So here, I know he's going to switch out into Cradley because he might be expecting, like, a Focus Blast or something weird or a Thunderbolt. I don't know why I said Focus Blast, um, because it is super effective against Craigley. I missed my first attack here, which, or the first Focus Blast. I have such crappy luck with that move. It's called Focus Miss for a reason. Uh, so a plus two boosted Focus Blast is going to land, finally, and we get to take out Craigley. Now here's where he blows my mind. He has a Custap Berry. 
and the cusp gap berry is similar to the uh, quick claw in the form that makes you faster than the opponent. And that sucks for me. So we lose Raichu just like that. But that's fine, we can go into Quillfish here, which is named Spiky, and I make a huge misplay in the form of paralyzing Crustle. But he does get paralyzed on that turn anyway, so I guess that turn didn't really matter in the long run, I should say. It got cancelled out. Because originally I was going to go for Waterfall. I think I was going to... I was thinking he was going to switch out into, say, Gramble or something like that. He could save his Crustle for later if he wants to make use of that Custap Berry later on. Who knows? But here, I'm going to stay and go for a layer of spikes. It might be useful later, so good job, Spiky. You're going to go down as well. And like I said, we have an Earthquake weakness on our team. Besides Sir Ruff, and that is my Furfro. And I know he's going to switch out into War Turtle, expecting either a... I don't know, actually. I just go for Protect to Scout, but he switched out, so that doesn't matter. I do have Protect, so now my opponent knows that I have those options. So now he's going to make use of that and just say, oh, okay, he's going to go for Protect. I'm going to switch out of here. That's what's going to happen. And uh, I gotta say, I kind of misplayed a lot with Furfro here. And that's kind of... See, I don't do a lot of lower class Pokemon in battle, I guess, where I bring those kind of Pokemon into battle. I don't know what I'm saying. The point is, I don't use these Pokemon all that much, thus I make really weird plays and they don't work in the long run. But that's fine. I do end up uh, poisoning the War Turtle so that he's taking residual damage. Because I don't have anything because Raichu is gone. I could go into um, Sony Lager. That's my uh, Mega Mega Grass. But the fact that he's going for Scald, I don't want to get burned from it. It's a 30% chance, but it's actually a 70%. Not really, but that's just what happens, guys. Uh, but yeah, I just don't want to make that play. So my opponent, Necrocevo, is going to be very wise with his uh, decision-making. He does have close combat, but he doesn't go for it just yet. He just goes for Earthquake, probably expecting Mega Megacross to come in. So uh, I knew he had close combat, but I'm basically... I'm basically sacrificing Furfro so that I can get a free switch into Mega Megacross. That's what I'm trying to do there. Because all this would have been pointless, I guess. But um, he is going to lose War Turtle if he's going to keep on bringing it in like that. Because he knows that the poison is going to take him out. And he's trying to protect and toxic me and go for Skull going, going for the burn chance. He's trying everything. It's not working. But that's okay. Me and Furfro are, going to, are just going to stay in. We're just going to keep on doing what we're doing. So, again, he's going to switch out. I'm surprised he doesn't have Intigamate. That means that Gramble has the ability Raggled. And, of course, Raggled, if you're not aware, you're going to see it in action. Um, Raggled will make it so that Gramble is plus one to its speed or its speed increases. Wow, I can't say things right, apparently. But yeah, you see that? He has plus one speed now, and he does have close combat. So had he done that initially, we wouldn't have been in here longer than we have been. So I don't know. That, that's just me. Uh, but he gets to knock out my uh, furfro there. I get to go into Joe Pawelski. Uh, thumbs up to those who get that reference, of course, because I gave it that name for a reason. But I made a huge misplay with Lyparg, and that is going for Thunder Wave. Because I know a close combat, since it's weak to that move, because it's a fighting type against a dark type like Lyparg. Why did I do that? I don't know. But we end up paralyzing it? I guess I was a little bit scared of the rattled ability, but that means that, like, I wasted a turn of doing some more crucial stuff. I don't know. But this is my last Pokemon. All I have to do, guys, there's only War Turtle left and Gramble. Gramble is a fairy type, which means Meteor Mash is a steel type move. 
I just going to take it out in one shot. And then, you know, after uh, Grandma is gone, we have a chance to survive a plus one, or no, it's just a regular sucker punch from Zorark. So here we're going to knock out Grandma. Nope, we lose our chance to win this battle because we missed that stupid Meteor Mash. I have just a little bit of HP to survive with, but you know what? A Sucker Punch from that range is going to finish me off. So that was a great battle. I've, I I really had fun with it. It's just, I was so irked because I missed that Meteor Mash, and it definitely, definitely mattered because, you know, a regular sucker punch. It's not like he set up or anything. Plus, he's life orbed, as you can see there from the recoil from like uh, the Zoro arc there. But you know, there's a chance I could live it because Mega Mega Boss has good physical defense. But you know what? It's fine. That was a great battle, nevertheless. So uh, after this battle, guys, we have another one against Necrosivo, and this time we're going to be doing Ubers. I hope you guys look forward to that. If you enjoyed this awesome match, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you with the next battle here shortly. Have a great week, you guys. See you next time.